Hi, in this video, we will dive into embedding 3D objects into the Vision OS window. Then, I will show you how to use a slider to rotate the 3D object in all directions X, Y, and Z. Let's begin. To get a 3D asset like this, we can use Reality Composer Pro, which is embedded in the Vision OS project itself as a package. Another way is to get a 3D model from the internet. Let's open the browser. I will open a new window and search for OpenUSDZ and select this link from Apple. So on the augmented reality site, we have all these 3D models available for you to add in your Vision OS and iOS projects. You can select any one of the objects here and download as USDZ. You can see on the top right, the file extension is USDZ. This is the extension we need to load the 3D model into the Swift UI file in Vision OS. Apart from this website, we can also create a 3D model ourselves using Reality Composer Pro, as I said before. I will show you later in this video. Another way is to go to the Sketchfab website. On this website, I have already logged in. So you can search for any 3D model you want. I have already searched for Vision Pro and the one I like so much was this one. So this is what we are going to use in the Vision OS project. All we need to do here is to download the model. We have different format and as I said before, we need the one with extension USDC that is universal scene description. I have it already downloaded so I will close the dialog window. So let's open Xcode and start loading the 3D model. I have already created this project in Xcode. In the navigator, you can see I have the folder Vision Pro. Let's select that, control click and add a new file. I will leave the option as Swift UI view and next. Let's name it Vision Pro 3D Rotation and create. To get a 3D model, we have different options as I said before. So I have showed you how to get it from the internet. Another way is to assemble the 3D model yourself. If you create a new Vision OS project in Xcode, you have a starter file to begin assembling your 3D model. This is a Reality Composer package. To assess it, you go to Packages in the Project Navigator. Let's expand that and select Reality Content. When you move down, you can see we have package.realitycomposer.pro. With Reality Composer Pro, we can design our own 3D asset. Once we are done, we can load it in the Vision OS project. On the top right, we have the option to open this file in Reality Composer Pro and start editing. But we already have the model, so we are not going to open it in Reality Composer Pro. So let's go back to the file we just created. To load the 3D asset, we are going to use SwiftUI's Model 3D View. Let's go to the browser again and search for SwiftUI Model 3D View. With this view, we can load the 3D model into the SwiftUI file. So let's copy this code here and go back to Xcode. I will select the text and replace it. Let's look at how the Model 3D View works. Over here, in the parentheses, we need to specify the file name. We don't have this file name in the project. Once the Model 3D View finds the 3D object with the name, then it will just load it into the preview. In its closure, we define a variable. By using the variable you define, you can customize its appearance. Let's change the variable name to Vision Pro. Then I'll copy it and paste it here as well. Since I have the 3D asset already downloaded, I will go to my downloads folder. That is the one I have here. So I will drag it to the project bundle and leave it here. Then I will make sure all these options are checked. Copy items if needed. Create folder references. And then I will need to also add it to the target of the project. So let's click finish. If I select the USD file, we can just drag it around to preview what we have. As we did on the Sketchfab website. So let's copy the name from here. And replace this. We still see an error because we need to import reality kit. The model is bigger than the window, so let's scale it down. We can for example say we want only 3% of the size. So now we have the 3D model in the preview and the only way we can navigate around it is to use these tools. 
once we use any one of them the window also moves as well this is not what we want we want to add a slider to navigate around the 3d model let's add the slider as a bottom ornament using an ornament we can attach objects to the size of the window left top right or the bottom part so let's add a bottom ornament we will add the slider as a two bar item and position it in the bottom ornament so let's embed the model 3d view in a navigation stack then we attach a two bar to the model 3d view in the two bar we will have a two bar item this placement will be bottom ornament so let's add a state variable here that will be used for rotating the 3d object in the ornament we will add a slider and a text you can see we still don't see the slider the reason is i added the slider to the navigation stack instead of the content in the navigation stack so let's remove the toolbar we need to add it to the content in the navigation stack instead so let's add it here so we have a slider and a text take a closer look our sliders value is set to the state variable we just defined here to be able to use the slider to rotate the 3d object we need to bind the slider values to the angle of rotation of the 3d model to do that let's add a 3d rotation effect modifier here so here we add 3d rotation and set the angle of rotation to the state variable we defined here once we get a slider value between zero and this amount we multiply the angle of rotation by two then we want to rotate the object on the x y and z over here you can just experiment with different values but this is the one i prefer so once we drag the slider you can see we rotate the object in 3d as i showed previously at the beginning of the video so this is all about embedding 3d objects into the vision os window and using a slider to navigate around the 3d asset if you want to see more videos like this in the future i encourage you to subscribe to the channel and wait for the next thanks for watching this video